Shauna came in with a condition what we call as a subarachnoid hemorrhage. This is basically this, the blood leaking on the surface of the, uh, the brain, which it should not be there. And this is um, a very fatal and life-threatening condition. Um, the most common reason for someone to come in with this, that type of a hemorrhage is trauma. And after the trauma, it's um, an aneurysm or uh, some vascular malformation leading to a rupture inside the brain. Um, it's more common in young women and uh, women who smoke or it, run, it also runs in family histories. And uh, when we saw her, like she had a diffuse hemorrhage all over the brain that we saw on the CT scan. And that hemorrhage can sometimes lead to very quickly swelling in the brain. And uh, that's how she was presenting. And 50% um, of the time, people will not even make it to the hospital because of this hemorrhage. Of the 50 who, who make it, only a third will actually be able to go back to the rectus of daily living. And she's one of those fortunate ones that who actually was able to do that. I live in Morris, Illinois, um, and I'm 40 years old. And I was really sluggish that day, and it was really cold out. I know I had to clean my house, so I want to get some fresh air after the walk. So I was trying to bypass all the street lights because they take forever to get through in Morris, and I wound up going into the Walmart parking lot. And right when I got in there, I felt this pressure in the back of my head, and I'm like, oh no, something's wrong. And I tried stepping on my brake, and that's, I guess, when I passed out and I bumped into a tree. Um, the ambulance came, they took my blood pressure, um, got me out of the vehicle into the ambulance. Um, they took me to the hospital. They said, I'm, I guess I'm too far gone, so they had to send me to St. Joe's. And that night they couldn't use the helicopter because it was flurry with the uh, snow and stuff. So they transported me by ambulance to St. Joe's. Um, she initially was stabilized in the near ICU. We uh, took her down to the Angel Suite and then um, uh, the procedure was done under general anesthesia and uh, she underwent diagnostic angiography and that's when we found that she had an aneurysm um, in the area that she had bled. In her case, like, uh, we were able to save her a major surgery and uh, we did uh, the coiling. Um, the coiling procedure is done um, uh, in a non-invasive, non-surgical way and, um, and we uh, uh, actually thread a catheter from the groin and it's a very small incision and uh, we go all the way up inside the brain and then put the coils inside the aneurysm. Um, and the basic the idea is um, to pack the aneurysm so that there's no more blood coming into the aneurysm and you cut it off from the circulation. And uh, so this way um, we can save a, uh, a patient a major surgery, a neurosurgical procedure. In her case, the aneurysm was located deep inside in the middle part of the brain and uh, that uh, by itself has a little bit of a high morbidity with any surgical intervention also. They came in that night to talk to me and tell me what they were going to do. But everything was so quick and everybody was so helpful and very understanding. They uh, bought me a nice picture frame for my birthday because I celebrated my 40th birthday. <laughs> so yeah, they were just really super nice. Everybody from the therapy to Dr. Bashir and the nurses, they were all really good. So yeah, I knew I was going to be okay. I've been feeling really good. I've had a lot of uh, compliments from a lot of customers that come in the restaurant and say how good I look. I feel much better, much happier more relaxed. Yeah, I'm doing really good, eating really healthy again, a lot more healthier, so everybody at work says eat too healthy, but now I'm really healthy, so. Well, I'm extremely happy that she has made a tremendous recovery. She is able to look after her son, and then um, I always believe that things happen to you for a reason, and uh, this, was, this is a second chance for her. And uh, she has actually done wonderfully well. She has followed on, on our uh, recommendations. And, um, and I'm very happy that she has been able to go back to her activities of daily living. Um, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to cry, but thank you. I got to see Brad done. That was a big thing. <laughs> Hi.